For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Only be wrought by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. For the Bible says, in the words of Jesus himself, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The wages of sin is death. Oh, we have a great love for death. Look at our tattoos. Look at our bikes, skulls, bones. And yet, when you think about the real death, when death is permanent and death is settled, and when you have not believed on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you will burn in a hell forever. And it's not a place to be mocked, it's a place to be burned. The Bible describes it as torment. Hell is not a place to be joking about. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Hell is so serious that Jesus Christ left the abode of heaven and suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures and yes jesus christ will save bikers just as much as anybody else when you ride on those two wheels and you hit that pavement and the worst thing you can do is open up yourself into hell for all eternity because you have rejected jesus christ as your savior there is no other means, there is no other way to get to heaven. And hell is a place of burning and torment forever and ever. There is no jokes, there is no friendship, there is no booze in hell. Booze evaporates with fire, friends, and you'll burn in that fire for all eternity. All eternity will hell burn unless you put your faith and trust in the finished work of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures that you may have eternal life. And that eternal life rests upon God, upon Jesus Christ who is God forever. And ever you can be settled into the gates of heaven with God through his son, Jesus Christ. I look around and I see death. I see skulls. I see bones. You know death is going to happen. You know the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Before you hit that pavement, before you take your last breath, you are to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Without Jesus Christ, you hit that payment, you hit death, you will enter off into hell for all eternity. Amen. There is burning. There is no parties. There is no friendship. There is no booze in hell. It burns up. It burns up. You won't burn up. You'll be eternal. Eternal torments, the Bible says in Luke 16. It will be forever for you to be settled into the lake of fire. The lake of fire that burneth forever. The lake of fire that you don't need to go in. The lake of fire that you can be saved from by the finished work of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ is the Savior. He's just not a cuss word. He's the means of salvation. There is no other way. There is no religion. There is no biker's heaven. There's no biker's hell. Heaven is wrought by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. That is it. And when you take your last breath without Jesus, it's into the gates of hell forever. And yet, if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved, I'm not going to tell you that there's a biker's heaven. I'm going to tell you there's a heaven of no sorrow, no more pain, a new body. A brand new body given by God through Jesus Christ. 
and only by Jesus Christ. Hell is so wicked, hell is so tormentful that God came down from heaven and suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Hell is so real. Hell is so real that Jesus left us abode. And you today can put your faith and trust through your heart in the finished work of Jesus. Today you can have your name written down in the Lamb's Book of Life. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. What is sin? Sin is when you go against God. Sin is a fact is right now you are hearing that Jesus saves. And your greater sin today is to reject Jesus Christ. Because men that go into hell are men that have rejected Jesus Christ. If there's one thing you got in common is hell is you don't want Jesus. And Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father except by me. That means you can't get to heaven by religion. You can't get to heaven by good intentions. You can't get to heaven by thinking, I'm going to go to heaven. You're going to heaven by Jesus Christ and by Jesus Christ alone. That's it. Salvation is wrought in no other. And you better make sure that the Jesus you Jesus, believe on, Jesus right there. you better make sure that Jesus you believe on is God. And God is Jesus, born of the tribe of Judah, born in a place called Bethlehem. Jesus Christ, born of Bethlehem, was born and raised to go to Calvary's hill, that you may have life and have life more abundantly. And that is through Jesus Christ, only by Jesus Christ. We're here to tell you the way, the truth, and the life, how to get to heaven. Because the thing is, the wages of sin is death. We don't know when death is going to happen. And your more chances of being on a motorcycle, look at these accident signs. Your more chance of going into an accident and going off into hell, hell is more on two wheels and four wheels. And that you can be saved today. You can put your faith and trust. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness. But with a mouth confessions made unto salvation. Yes, brother. There is no other way. The only biker that God loves is a biker to put his faith and trust in Jesus Christ for the finished work. Other than that, without Jesus, God does not love you. The Bible says, for God so loved the world, past tense. There is no salvation in no other name but Jesus Christ. The gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures that you may have eternal life. And that eternal life can only be wrought by Jesus, not by religion. So you know that death is happening. You know death is coming. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. That moment you take your last breath without God's Son, that's a moment that you enter off into eternity. You enter off into hell and there's no way to get out. There's no laughing. There's no partying. There's no friendship in hell. There's no alcohol. Alcohol burns up and in hell. Flames, fire. You won't get your drinks. You won't get your entertainment. You will not get your pleasure. There is no pleasure. And yet the pleasure in the afterlife is to worship, is to praise God's Son forever. It may not be liking to your liking right now, but when you step off in eternity and you're burning in torments, you wish you had believed on the Lord Jesus Christ. You wish you would have gotten right. You wish you would have done what God has told you to do. And God's told you to be, you must be born again. You're born with a nature of sin. 
for all have sinned, for all have come short of the glory of God, and that includes you. I'm sorry, but there is no biker's heaven. There's no biker's hell. It's all one of one place. To heaven by Jesus Christ or to hell by whatever you want to believe, whatever you want to do. That's the option of hell. The option is to get to God's heaven, is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Salvation is wrought only by Jesus. Your only hope to get to heaven is to be by Jesus Christ. Oh, I'm going to love and party in hell. I'm going to drink in flames and fire for all eternity with no time, no calendar. You won't love it. There are some of your friends today, according to the Gospel of Luke, there are some of your friends today are in hell and they're telling us, go tell them not to come. Your friends in hell don't want you to come. They want you to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. They want you to be saved because hell is a place of torment forever and forever. And yet, for God so loved the world that he sent his son, he has given you a, an opportunity not to enter into those gates that burn it forever. He has sent his son. He has given you an opportunity to be saved. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. There is no other way to be saved. There is no other way to get to heaven, and you don't want to go off into the gates of hell. Hell would be your worst, your worst, of all your worst, agonies and pain and suffering. And you need not so, you need just to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. That's for me. Salvation is so wonderful, it's so great. When you can get your name written in the Lamb's Book of Life by the finished work of Jesus Christ. The finished work that will get you to heaven is by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. You can be saved today. You can call upon God as your Savior. Put your sins through the blood of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is not my main man. He ain't the man upstairs. He's the Savior prescribed by God forever and forever you can be saved by the testimony by the life by the burial and the death of god jesus christ salvation god saw man in his wicked condemned ways john chapter 3. god sees man when he dies where is he going to go and yet god's not going to make you a robot god's not going to force you in anything the way that God has prescribed is by the words of Jesus himself. Jesus said, John chapter 14, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. That means your religion. That means your beliefs. That grandmother, your mother, cannot get you into heaven. Only by your faith and belief in the finished work that God has prescribed and that finished work set off by Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God's eternal life. You can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ today and put your sins under his blood and you can have your name written down in the Lamb's Book of Life and obtain eternal life and with your name and your life settled upon jesus the bible says at your death you'll be absent from the body and present with the lord and yet without jesus christ the bible says he died and was buried and he woke up in hell in torments being tormented tormenting without friends without drink. There's no water in hell. So if there's no water in hell, forget your beers. Forget your, your drunken juice. God's not going to provide alcohol when he won't even provide water. 
and those torments, those flames. Light yourself a barbecue and put yourself in those flames. That's what hell would be like. And yet, in this life, if you were to burn, you would die. Your life would be over from flames. And yet, the flames of eternal life will never stop. And you need not go to a place called hell. Believe on the Jesus, Jesus Christ. Put your faith and trust on what Jesus Christ has done. What he has done, he has suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. There is no other way for you to be saved. There is no other way to get you into heaven except by God's Son, Jesus. There's no religion. There's no prayer. There is nothing that can get you saved from this world onto the world to the next except by the finished work and the merit of Jesus Christ himself, the Son of God, who suffered and died and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Death is coming. Death is sure the wages of sin is death. I see way some of you guys ride these bikes. Death is going to be quicker. And yet when you die, and if you die without Jesus Christ, you will enter into the gates of hell forever. And yet, if you were to put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, you can enter into glory. You can be present in this world and then be with God in the next. The Bible does speak about an afterlife. The Bible says that in the afterlife, there's a heaven by Jesus Christ. The Bible speaks about a hell. That's by anything you want. You want to go to hell, you do whatever you want to do. You want to go to heaven, put your faith and trust in your finished work upon Jesus Christ and Jesus Christ alone. Death is coming. You realize know what's going on in America today? There are people taking guns and shooting into crowds. This is a crowd. You realize somebody could pack right now and start shooting, and you can go off into eternity right now. And if you go off into eternity without Jesus Christ, you'll wake up in the flames of hell, and you'll burn forever, and you will burn, you will burn. And you'll never, never get out of those torments. You'll never be relieved of the pain and suffering. And yet, if you're to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved, the Bible speaks about death to be absent from the body and present with the Lord. You know what God gives you when you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ? He gives you a new body. A body that will never break down. A body that will never sin. A body that will never have pain. The Bible says in Revelation chapter 20, God will wipe away our tears, those that have faith in Jesus Christ. Our tears to be wiped away and never to tear again. By Jesus Christ. We'll get a body that will never, ever, ever sin. We'll get an eternal body that will look like Jesus Christ's body. By faith and belief on the Lord Jesus Christ. The wages of sin is death. You're going to die. Oh, preacher, you're, I'm not a sinner. And when the day we put you in the ground, I'll look over your grave and say, Sinner, the wages of sin is death but the gift of God's eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. You're not going to enter into God's plan. You're not going to enter into God's abode in your sins. For all have sinned. All have come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous. No, not one. That includes you. That includes me, a born-again, Bible-believing Christian, saved by the blood, and yet I'm still a sinner. I still need that blood to wash away my soul and my sins. You have never believed on Jesus. You need to come to Calvary. You need to believe on the finished work of the testimony of Jesus Christ that he saved, and nobody else. Nobody else can save your soul but Jesus Christ. He finished it. He's God. He came down from heaven to suffer and die, according to the scriptures, to be buried, 
and to be rose from that grave three days and three nights that you may believe on him and have the saving grace set forth by God, through God, and only God. For only God saves, only Jesus Christ saves. Death is coming. We don't know when it's going to happen. This is something you cannot put off. Because we have no idea when that last moment. And yet, if you were to take that final breath, you were to take that life, gone, done, finished life, and do it without the faith and belief in Jesus Christ, you will burn in hell. You know why men burn in hell? Because they reject Jesus. Men go to hell because they reject the finished work of Jesus Christ. Men don't go to hell because they're adulterers. Men don't go to hell because they're blasphemers. Men go to hell because they tell Jesus, I got something better to do. Jesus, I got more time. I got everything and anything but better than you. And then one day, Jesus Christ out of his own mouth, depart from me, ye workers of iniquity. I never knew you. And when God doesn't know who you are, when your name is lacking from the Lamb's Book of Life, and in your death, you'll be condemned. You'll be damned forever. There's no friendship. There's no motorcycles. There's no booze. It's just darkness. The Bible says torment, tormenting, being tormented in the flame made for Satan and his angels. If Satan is your buddy, Satan's your friend, he's a loser. And you'll die his losing death forever and forever. And yet Jesus Christ, victorious, will reign over this earth, victorious, as your master Satan will be bound for a thousand years. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming as sure as anything else is coming. Now, I'm not going to tell you when he's coming, but he's coming. And he'll take your friend, he'll take your nice guy, Satan, and he'll bound him up. He'll take you that honor and love Satan, he'll cast you off into a hell that burns forever. There is no hope outside the blessed hope of Jesus Christ. There is no other way. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. When you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you'll receive mercy. You'll receive grace. You will receive eternal life. That eternal life rests upon Jesus and only Jesus. There is no other way. There is no other means for you to be saved. There is no other way and means for you to get to heaven. There is nothing else but Jesus Christ. Our life here is temporal. Our life in the hereafter is forever. And our temporal life to attain proper eternal life is to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. To believe on the Lord Jesus Christ is the means that God will save your soul. What must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And yet John the Baptist says in the same chapter, he that has the Son has everlasting life. He that has not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth upon him. The wrath of God is a place called hell. The wrath of God is a place called the lake of fire. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Salvation can be wrought through Jesus and only Jesus. There is no other means to get to heaven. There is no other means for you to be saved in God's eyes, in God's words. The words speak about, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. All have sinned 
and come short of the glory of God, there is none righteous, no, not one. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. Salvation can be only wrought by God and only through God, through Jesus Christ. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God.